Hi everyone. In today's session, let us learn how to solve problems based on magnetic flux and Faraday's law. Consider a coil of 100 turns pulled in 0.04 second between the poles of a magnet when its area includes flux of 40 into 10 power minus 6 Weber per turn to a place where it includes a flux of 10 power minus 5 Weber per turn. Calculate the average EMF induced in the coil. The data given is N, the number of turns equal to 100, T, the time taken is 0.04 second. The flux induced is 40 into 10 power minus 6 multiplied by 100 because the coil has 100 turns which is simplified and written as 4 into 10 power minus 3 Weber. Flux is moved to a new position that's the final flux let us call it as 5 2 which is 100 into 10 power minus 5 Weber simplified and written as 10 power minus 3 Weber. The average EMF is calculated as minus of 52 minus 51 whole divided by t on substituting for 52 51 and t which is 10 power minus 3 minus 4 into 10 power minus 3 whole divided by 0 0.04 on solving we get minus of minus 3 into 10 power minus 3 whole divided by 0 0.04 minus into minus becomes plus. Therefore, on dividing, we get 0 0.075 volts as the average EMF induced in the coil. The magnetic flux linked with the coil varies as phi is equal to 3t square plus 4t plus 9. What is the magnitude of EMF induced at t equal to 2 seconds? The equation to calculate EMF is minus d phi by dt. Substituting phi in the equation and then on differentiating we get d by dt of 3t square is 3 into 2t which is 60 plus differentiating 40 we get 4 and differentiating 9 we get as 0. So therefore the equation is minus of 60 plus 4. The question asked is finding EMF at t equal to 2 seconds. So substituting for t we get E is equal to minus of 6 into 2 plus 4 which is 16 volt. So finally we get the value of EMF as 16 volt. A circular coil of wire is placed with its plane perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field of 50 milli tesla. If the radius of the loop starts shrinking at a constant rate of 6 mm per second, calculate the EMF induced in the loop when the radius of the loop is 5 cm. Data is B, the magnetic field is 50 milli tesla. The rate at which the radius is shrinking is TR by TT equal to 6 mm per second. And the radius of the loop is 5 into 10 power minus 2 meter. Equation for calculating EMF is d5 by dt, where phi is equal to b into a, where b is the magnetic field, a is the area of the coil. A can be written as pi r square because we are choosing a circular coil. Substituting for phi in the equation, we get d of b into pi r square by dt. On differentiating, the equation becomes 2 pi r 
B into dr by dt. Substituting the above values in the equation, we get the value of EMF induced as 94.2 microvolt or 94.2 into 10 power 6 volt. Numericals on self inductance. The formula used are flux phi is equal to Li or flux phi is equal to capital N L I for N turns. Second formula is induced EMF E is equal to minus L into D I by D T. Third formula is in case of a solenoid self inductance capital L is equal to mu naught small n square A into L where small n is the number of turns per unit length or that is equal to capital N divided by L. The units used are flux in Weber, EMF in volt, current in ampere, self inductance in Henry, length in meter, area of solenoid in meter square. The value of mu naught is taken as 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 Weber, ampere raised to minus 1, meter raised to minus 1. The first question is, current in a circuit falls from 5 ampere to 0 ampere in 0.1 second. If an average EMF of 200 volt is induced, give an estimate of the self-inductance of the circuit. So, here it is given the current falls from 5 ampere to 0 ampere. That means the change in current Di will be equal to 0 ampere minus 5 ampere. And the corresponding time is dt is equal to 0.1 seconds. Therefore, we can first calculate di by dt. That is equal to i2 minus i1 by t. That is equal to 0 minus 5 divided by 0 0.1. On substituting, we get it as minus 50 ampere per second. The average EMF is also given E is equal to 200 volt. We are asked to calculate the self-inductance capital letter L. So, using the formula, modulus of induced EMF E is equal to L into modulus of D I by DT. We get L is equal to modulus of induced EMF E divided by modulus of di by dt. Substituting, we get L is equal to 200 divided by 50. That is equal to 4 Henry. The next question is, current in an inductance of 1 milli Henry is reduced from 5 milli ampere to 0 in 1 millisecond. Find the EMF induced. So, given the self inductance capital L is equal to 1 milli Henry, that is equal to 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 Henry. The change in current Di is equal to 0 minus 5 milli ampere that is nothing but minus 5 milli ampere or minus 5 into 10 raised to minus 3 ampere. Corresponding time dt is given 1 millisecond that is equal to 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 seconds. We are asked to calculate the EMF induced. Therefore, using the formula induced EMF E is equal to minus L into di by dt, we get E is equal to minus L is replaced by 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 
di by dt is replaced by minus 5 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 1 into 10 raised to minus 3. Therefore, we get E is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 3 volt or 5 millivolt. The next question is, what is the self-inductance of a solenoid of length 0 0.5 meter, area of cross-section 0 0.005 square meter and total number of turns 1000. So, given length of the solenoid L is equal to 0 0.5 meter, area of cross-section capital A is equal to 0 0.005 square meter and number of turns capital N is equal to 1000. So first we will calculate number of turns per unit length small letter N. So small letter N is equal to capital N by L that is equal to 1000 divided by 0 0.5 that we will get it as 2000. Thus Self-inductance of a solenoid is, formula is, L is equal to mu naught small n square A into L. Substituting, we get L is equal to mu naught is replaced by 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 into n square is replaced by 2000 square into capital A is replaced by 0 0.005 into L is replaced by 0 0.5. So multiplying we will get capital L is equal to 0 0.025 Henry. Next question is an EMF of 250 microvolt is induced in a coil when current in it changes from 10 ampere to 6 ampere in 0 0.4 seconds. What is the self-inductance of the coil? So given the induced EMF E is equal to 250 microvolt that is equal to 250 into 10 raised to minus 6 volt. The change in current is nothing but final current minus initial current. So, d i is equal to 6 minus 10 that is equal to minus 4 ampere. The change in time d t is 0 0.4 seconds. We are asked to calculate the self-inductance capital L. So, the formula is modulus of induced EMF E is equal to L into modulus of d i by d t. Therefore, L is equal to modulus of E divided by modulus of di by dt. That is equal to E is replaced by 250 into 10 raised to minus 6 divided by di by dt is replaced by 4 divided by 0.4. That is equal to 250 into 10 raised to minus 6 into 0.4 divided by 4. So, we will get the answer as L is equal to 25 into 10 raised to minus 6 Henry. The next question is, find a change in current in an inductor of 10 Henry in which the EMF induced is 300 volt in 10 raised to minus 2 seconds. Also, find a change in magnetic flux. So, the given quantities are self-inductance capital L is equal to 10 Henry, induced EMF E is equal to 300 volt and time dt is equal to 10 raised to minus 2 seconds. We are asked to calculate the change in current that is di and the change in flux d phi. So, the first formula is induced EMF E is equal to L into di by dt. 
therefore substituting we get 300 is equal to 10 into di by 10 raised to minus 2 therefore di is equal to 300 into 10 raised to minus 2 by 10 so solving we get it as 0 0.3 ampere next we have to calculate the change in magnetic flux the formula for change in magnetic flux we will get from this equation that is E is equal to d phi by dt or d phi is equal to E dt that is equal to E is replaced by 300 into dt is replaced by 10 raised to minus 2. Therefore multiplying we get d phi is equal to 3 Weber. The next question is, the self-inductance of a coil having 200 turns is 10 milli henry. Compute the total flux link with the coil. Also, determine the magnetic flux through the cross-section of the coil corresponding to current of 4 milli ampere. So, the given quantities are, the number of turns capital N is equal to 200, Self-inductance capital L is equal to 10 milli Henry that is equal to 10 into 10 raised to minus 3 Henry. The current I is equal to 4 milli ampere that is equal to 4 into 10 raised to minus 3 ampere. We have to calculate the total flux phi. So the total magnetic flux linked with the coil phi is given by the formula phi is equal to capital N L I. So substituting the values we get phi is equal to N is replaced by 200 into capital L with 10 into 10 raised to minus 3 into I is replaced by 4 into 10 raised to minus 3. Multiplying we will get Total magnetic flux linked with the coil that is phi is equal to 8 into 10 raised to minus 3 Weber. Now we have to calculate the magnetic flux through the cross section of the coil. So the magnetic flux through the cross section of the coil is equal to the magnetic flux linked with each turn. So we will get it. That is the magnetic flux through the cross section of the coil is equal to the total magnetic flux linked with the coil divided by total number of turns. That is phi by n. Substituting phi is equal to 8 into 10 raised to minus 3 and n as 200. We get 8 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 200 is equal to 4 into 10 raised to minus 5 Weber. The next question is a solenoid of radius 3 cm and length 1 meter has 600 turns per meter. What is its self inductance? Will the value of self inductance change if it is wound on an iron piece? So the question is, it is given that the radius of the solenoid small letter r is equal to 3 centimeter that is equal to 3 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter. The length small letter l of the solenoid is 1 meter and it is given number of turns per unit length is nothing but small n is equal to 600. We have to first calculate the self inductance. So, we know the formula for self inductance capital L is equal to mu naught small n square into capital A into L. So, first we have to calculate the area capital A. So, area of cross section A is equal to pi r square that is equal to pi into 
R square is replaced by 3 into 10 raised to minus 2 whole square. Multiplying, we get capital A is equal to 9 pi into 10 raised to minus 4 meter square. Substituting this value of A in equation for L, we get L is equal to mu naught small n square capital A into L that is equal to mu naught is replaced by 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 into small n square is replaced by 600 square into capital A is replaced by 9 pi into 10 raised to minus 4 into small l is replaced by 1. So on multiplying we get the self inductance capital L is equal to 1.28 into 10 raised to minus 3 Henry. The second part is if the solenoid is wound on an iron core the value of self inductance will change. Hello students, today let us learn the numericals on mutual inductance. Before we see what the question is, let us see what the formula is we have studied and we will just revise how the formulas can be rewritten in different forms. First formula is for a mutual inductance of two coils, coaxial solenoids. We have seen that m is equal to n1 n2 l mu naught pi r square. So if we substitute n1 is equal to capital N1 by L, N2 is equal to capital N2 by L, we will be getting the following equation. Capital M is equal to capital N1 divided by L, capital N2 divided by L into L mu naught pi r square. Here one of the L cancels out and the expression that remains is M is equal to capital N1 capital N2 into mu naught pi r square the whole thing divided by L. Here pi r square is your area so we will be replacing it by A. The next formula that you have to remember is this. From Faraday's law of induction we have learned that EMF is equal to minus n d phi b divided by dt. We have also learned from mutual inductance that term n d phi by dt is equal to m into di by dt. So comparing those two equations we can write emf is equal to minus m di by dt. So here are the few formulas that we have learned in mutual inductance and comparing it with emf. So these two formulas we will be using it in our numericals. Let's begin with let us see the first question. A conducting wire of 200 turns is wound over and near the center of a solenoid of 100 cm length and 2 cm radius having 600 turns. Calculate the mutual inductance of the two coils. So there is a solenoid of 100 cm length, 2 cm radius and 600 turns. Over this solenoid we are giving another 200 turns conducting wire. So N1 for us is 600, N2 given is 200, L is equal to 1 meter or 100 centimeters. We always take SI units. So R is your radius that is given as 2 centimeters. We are writing it as 2 into 10 power minus 2 meter. So we have to find out mutual inductance. Before that, you should find out what is the area of the solenoid. To begin that, we have to know one more value, which is mu naught. Mu naught is a constant called relative permeability of free space. That value is given as 4 pi into 10 power minus 7. So we will find out what is area. Area is pi r square. Pi is 
3.14 you can substitute it as 22 by 7 as well so after pi you have to have radius square radius square is 2 into 10 power minus 2 into 2 into 10 power minus 2 so if you calculate this value you will be getting it as 12.56 into 10 power minus 4 meter after this you will find out your mutual inductance so that is the formula for mutual inductance the remaining is only substitution n1 is 600 n2 is 200 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 is your mu naught value into 12.56 into 10 power minus 4 is your area value the whole thing should be divided by length which is 1 meter i have not done it here okay when you calculate this you will get 1893.04 into 10 power minus 7 henry is your si unit for mutual inductance so this was your first question let us see what the next question is a 2 meter long solenoid with diameter 4 centimeters and 2000 tons has a secondary of 1000 tons wound closely near its midpoint calculate the mutual inductance between the two coils so it is similar to your previous question so let us see what all is given to us length is given as 2 meter diameter is given here instead of radius so you have to calculate your radius so diameter is 4 centimeters radius becomes diameter by 2 so that will be 2 centimeters this centimeter converting it to meter you will have 2 into 10 power minus 2 meter as your radius then you have to remember your constant value mu naught that is 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 then you have n1 number of turns in the inner solenoid as 2000 turns number of turns in the outer solenoid as 1000 turns you have to find out your area and mutual inductance here you can actually skip the step for area that we are doing here even in the previous question you could have skipped the area question uh, calculation that is because this pi r square comes with the formula as you can see the next step there is already a pi r square there so instead of you solving area separately and putting it back into the equation you can directly substitute your pi r square in the expression itself so you will have to substitute your mutual inductance m is given as n1 n2 mu naught pi r square divided by l so as i told pi r square can be directly substituted or you can calculate area pi r square separately so when you substitute for mutual inductance you will get 2000 into 1000 into 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 into 12.56 into 10 power minus 4 as your area the whole thing is divided by length given as 2 meter so when you calculate this you will get 1.56 into 10 power minus 3 henry the next question is related to your mutual inductance and emf so the question is a current of 10 ampere in primary of a circuit is reduced to zero at a uniform rate in 10 power minus 3 seconds if coefficient of mutual inductance is 3 henry what is the induced emf in the secondary so we have the initial current i1 is 10 ampere in the primary circuit that current is going to zero so our final current is zero ampere the change in the current that we have to find out and we have given dt that is the time that is taken to reduce 10 ampere to 0 ampere is given as 10 power minus 3 second mutual inductance is 3 henry so change in current is final current minus initial current 0 minus 10 so that is minus 10 ampere we have to find out what our emf is so we know the formula relating mutual inductance and the emf so emf is equal to 
minus m di by dt remaining a substitution we have emf is equal to minus keep it as it is m is 3 di is minus 10 divided by 10 power minus 3 is your time dt so we will just send 10 power minus 3 to the numerator it becomes plus 3 and minus into minus becomes plus so your emf value becomes 3 into 10 power 4 unit for emf is volts okay so you write it as small v or just write it as volts the next question similar question in a car spark coil emf of 4 into 10 power 4 volt is induced in the secondary when the primary current changes from 4 ampere to 0 ampere in 10 microseconds find the mutual inductance between the primary and secondary windings of this spark coil okay so we'll see what all is given to us it is the same type of numerical but there you found out emf here you have to find out mutual inductance using the same formula the first one emf is given to you 4 into 10 power 4 volts change in current is given to you i need not explain it again initial current is 4 ampere final current is 0 ampere so you will have final minus initial so 0 minus 4 is again minus 4 ampere time taken is 10 microseconds micro means 10 power minus 6 so you will have 10 into 10 power minus 6 seconds you have to find out mutual inductance so we have the formula emf is equal to minus m di by dt so m is equal to keep m on one side take minus di by dt to the denominator it will go to the denominator complete term okay so m is equal to emf divided by minus di by dt so substitute the values you will get 4 into 10 power plus 4 divided by minus is there keep minus as it is di value is minus 4 then you will have the complete term divided by 10 into 10 power minus 6 so numerator is as it is denominator you will have 4 into 10 power 5 when you calculate it that will give you 0 0.1 henry so these are the few numericals that can be asked in the exams some will come for uh, 3 marks, some will come for 5 marks. So make sure you all practice such numericals at home. As we already know, an AC generator is a device that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Here are some of the important formulas. Epsilon naught which is the magnitude of the induced EMF or the peak of the EMF is equal to N B A omega where N is the number of turns in the coil, B is a magnetic field, A is the area of the coil and omega is the angular frequency. Epsilon is equal to epsilon naught sine omega t and angular frequency omega is equal to 2 pi nu where nu is the linear frequency. Consider an AC generator consisting of 500 turns each of area 0.01 meter square that rotates at an angular speed of 300 rotations per minute in a uniform magnetic field of 2 tesla. Find the peak value of EMF induced. Given the number of turns is 500, the area of the coil is 0.01 meter square, the linear frequency is 300 rotations per minute. Linear frequency has a unit of hertz where 1 hertz is equal to 60 rotations per minute. Hence, to convert rotations per minute to rotations per second, divide it by 60. Hence, the linear frequency is equal to 5 rotations per second. The magnetic field is 2 tesla. To calculate angular frequency, 
angular frequency omega is equal to 2 pi nu. Hence, substituting, we get angular frequency as 31.4 radian per second. The maximum value of EMF is the peak value of EMF. Hence, epsilon naught is equal to N B A omega. Substituting for N B A and omega, the value of EMF epsilon naught is equal to 314 volts. Consider an AC generator consisting of 1000 turns, each of area 100 cm square, that rotates at an angular speed of 100 rotations per minute in a uniform magnetic field of 3.6 into 10 power minus 2 Tesla. Find the peak value of EMF induced. Given the number of turns is 1000, the area of the coil is equal to 100 cm square. On converting the area to standard units, the area of the coil is equal to 10 to the power of minus 2 meter square. The linear frequency nu is equal to 100 rotations per minute. On converting rotations per minute to rotations per second, the linear frequency nu is equal to 5 by 3 rotations per second. The magnetic field B is equal to 3.6 into 10 power minus 2 Tesla. On calculating angular frequency omega, omega is equal to 2 pi nu which is equal to 10.46 radian per second. The maximum value of EMF or the peak value is equal to NBA omega. On substituting for NBA and omega, the value of epsilon naught is equal to 37656 into 10 power minus 4, which is equal to 3.765 volts.